Welcome to Factbox, the leading litigation support solution that turns case facts into work product. Factbox is the first tool of its kind for lawyers and others doing serious fact gathering and research. It is a note taking tool, a collaboration tool, and a word processing tool all in one. It is designed to work with a contemporary UX that emphasizes ease of use and works with all your existing applications. You can maximize billable hours, get everyone on the same page, and quickly assemble the best possible work product, all without slogging through manuals or training sessions. Never ever lose even an iota of your brilliant work again. Here's how it works. Opening a case with Factbox is no harder than starting an email. You just click the Create Case button in the upper right corner, type the name of the case, and click Create. That's it. You're done. Once the case is created, you can effectively give it structure with issues. You can click on the link here on the left, or you can click on the issues area in the center. Let's click there. Then you start adding your key issues. You can also create sub-issues and sub-sub-issues. Not sure what all the issues for your case are? Not to worry. You can add them later and even move sub-issues from one issue to another, delete issues, or change the hierarchy by pulling a sub-issue out and making its own root issue, etc. This structure will give you and your contributors an effective roadmap as you start to build your case. Because Factbox allows you to alter and add the structure as you go, you can adopt to the changing landscape of the case. Other case management software does not allow for such flexibility. Factbox keeps you focused on the facts that matter, whether you are working alone or in a team. If you are working in a team, go up here to contributors and start inviting people to the case. Anyone you want, partners, associates, paralegals, even outside consultants and clients, can have access to the work you've just done, as well as all future work. They will be able to add, comment on, and edit facts as well, or they can simply follow the progress of the case. Everybody knows what everybody else is doing. So no more duplicative work or lost ideas. The lifeblood of Factbox is the facts you and your colleagues put into the system. This gives you the ability to record facts, notes, and ideas in one place and to see what everyone else is doing in real time. To add a fact in Factbox, you can click on the Add Fact window here. If you have downloaded the desktop app, you can also open an Add Fact window from your taskbar. Once the window is open, you start by selecting an issue. This ensures that your notes and facts are directed to the right area of the case. You can select more than one issue. You can also create a new issue for your fact on the fly. If the new issue you want to create is a root issue, then click the New Issue button and type the name of the issue, then Save. If the new issue is a sub-issue, click on the plus symbol next to the intended parent to insert it in the hierarchy. Then, as before, simply type the name and click Save. Once you have selected an issue, you can add content by simply cut and pasting or by typing into the content area. Here you have all the formatting options you would expect. Keep your eye out for upcoming right-click integrations with Word, PDF, email, etc. When you are finished, you can choose to add more data, such as a source document, tags, a key date, or title. Or you can simply save at the top and move on. Let's look now at the two fields above fact content, which are title and key date. These help you organize your facts later in different ways. A title is like a headline or some shorthand that summarizes the content of a given fact. It can be used later for headings in a memo or a table. Factbox is programmed to take the first five words from your fact content as the title automatically, or you can make your own descriptive title by clicking into that field and typing there. If you don't want any title, simply delete the auto-filled words and save. Key date refers to a date you want to note within a fact, as distinct from created date, which just refers to the date a given fact was added to Factbox. Most commonly, a key date refers to the date a given event happened. These key dates then become the building blocks of a chronology for the case. Just as with the title, 
If there is a date in the content, Factbox auto-populates that into the key date field. But you can override that or manually enter your own date. As with everything else, you can add key dates later in the edit mode. You can also leave key date blank. A key feature of Factbox is the ability to easily associate facts with documents and other sources, as well as the ability to create lists of key documents that can be associated with different aspects of the case. These documents can then be accessed by anyone working on the case. To add sources to Factbox, you click on the Sources link in the middle of the page, and this pulls up the Source Manager. Here you get the list of existing sources plus your interface to add new sources. A source could be several different things, a document, a website, notes from an interview, etc. The interface for adding each of these types is slightly different, but always very easy and intuitive. To add a new source, simply click the drop-down menu labeled New over here on the right. The first thing to do is select what type of source you are adding. Is it a document that you are uploading to Factbox? Is it a link to a URL? Or is it a freehand note that can refer to anything? an interview, a book, whatever. If you are a box or worksite user, contact us about integrations that we offer. To upload a new document, select File from the drop-down. This pulls up an interface for you to choose your file here. From there, you can simply drag and drop a file, or select the file from your native file browser, just like you are used to doing. There are no intermediate steps. The file is uploaded to your own Factbox database and can be retrieved at any time simply by clicking on a link for it in Factbox. With this feature, you can put together a quick list of hot docs for your case efficiently and in one place. Adding a link is also simple. First, select a link from the drop-down, and then just cut and paste the URL into Factbox here. If you like, you can add a shortcut name for the link here that will make it easier to remember and find again. Then hit save. You can go back later and edit the name of the link if you like. As for note, this can be anything really. You can reference a source document rather than upload it. You can refer to a specific passage in a document. You can identify an interview or a meeting as the source. With a note, you simply type whatever you want to identify that source in the field provided and click Save. All these functions for adding a new source are also available when adding a fact. For information on worksite or box integration, contact us for a demo or see our help page. Keeping close tabs on what facts are associated with what sources in your case allows you to do quick recall and compilation at crunch time. So, let's dig into how to associate a particular source document with a fact. If you are working on adding a fact, you can click on the Source tab in the window. This gives you a list of sources already in the case. You can select an existing source to associate with the fact by selecting it from the list. If there is a long list of sources, you can narrow it down by source type, file, or note, link, etc. You can also use the search field to winnow down your options or look for any exact match. You can select as many sources to associate with the fact as you like. This makes it much easier to go back to the source later and to do more research or to understand a given fact better. You can also add new sources here just like you would in the source modal. The other way to link a fact to a particular source is to open a fact you have already created in the edit mode. To do this, you click on any fact, which gives you the option to edit or delete. If you click edit, you get the same interface as the add fact window. Clicking on the source tab here allows you all the same functionality to add an existing source or to create a new one. What about tags? How do tags differ from issues and how do I use them in Factbox? Think of it this way. Issues are designed to give you an overarching hierarchy or organization to your case. Tags give you another secondary way to connect facts that cuts across the issue structure. For example, let's say you want to isolate a series of facts to be authenticated by a fact witness, or 
facts that you want to discuss with an employee of your client. You can tag these facts with a given name and then generate a report of only those facts grouped together. Tags can also be used to distribute work amongst team members, or way to group facts by location, theme, or any other factors that are outside the hierarchy of your issues list. You can use Factbox without ever using tags, but using them provides you with some higher order organizational functions. So, how do you add tags, edit them, and associate them with facts? In the Add or Edit Fact windows, you click on the Tags tab. This gives a list of existing tags. To associate an existing tag with a fact, just click on it. To search through existing tags, just type into the search field, and as you type, the list narrows. This protects against duplication of tags. If you are adding a new tag here, just click Add New and type. You can add as many or as few tags as you like. As with sources and issues, you can also manage your tags at any time by clicking on the tags counter in the main view and editing or deleting a given tag. You delete by clicking on the X next to a tag. And you edit the tag name by clicking on the words and typing a new name, then clicking the check mark. To add a new tag in this interface, go to the last tag in the list, which is add tag, and click there. You type the tag name, then click the check mark, then close. The real magic of Factbox is the ability to transform the same set of facts into many different forms. Whether you are generating work product, checking progress, or prepping for a specific moment like a deposition, motion, or client briefing. This work is done in the main Factbox interface. Here's an overview of some of the functions in this window. Perhaps the most important tool is what we call the view by function. This is how you control the grouping and organization of facts. The default is view by issues, but you can change this just by selecting another category from the drop down menu. Each way of viewing your facts allows you to do different things. For example, viewing by issues gives you the best comprehensive overview of the case. And if you want to delve into just one issue or a given set of issues, you simply deselect all and then select the specific issue or issues you want to look at. If you want to see things a different way, just change the view by. For example, for a chronology of the key facts in the case, simply toggle to the key date view. Here you see all your facts, but now ordered by key date rather than issue. You may want to remove all the facts with no key date by deselecting those. You can also reverse the order from newest to oldest up here. And then you can zero in on a specific date or set of dates by using the select and deselect function. If you want to check in on the work of a colleague, Click on View by Creator. There are all the facts broken out by who created the original fact. Again, you can use the selection tool. This can tell you if someone has already done the work you are about to do, or what has been done by someone who may not be available right when you need them. Other view bys are creation date for a quick view of what are the most recent facts added, Source, to see what work has been done on a specific document. And Tags, to see groupings of facts that cut across issues, such as a particular witness or event. Using the View By tool allows you to instantly transform the same set of facts into different work product, to see different aspects of the case, or to zero in on precisely what interests you without having to slog through files, folders, or legal pads. Because all your colleagues are on Factbox 2, you won't have to continuously email or phone coworkers for an update, or worse, be caught in an urgent situation without access to their work. If you want to pop in and edit a given fact or delete it, that's easy. Just click on any fact to find two options, Edit or Delete. Click Edit. 
you will see that this interface is exactly the same as the Add Fact window and has all the same functionality. Issues, title, key date, comments and formatting, sources and tags, they're all there. If you want to distinguish a comment from the original content of a fact, you can do so with highlighting or by using a different font color. Just add your changes and click Save. To delete, just do the same thing. Click on a fact, then select Delete. This enables you to get rid of any obsolete information in a case or even to keep a running to-do list. Another handy tool in Factbox is the ability to immediately transform your facts from a table view to a memo view, or vice versa. For example, if you are viewing facts in the default table view, but want to see those same facts as more of a narrative, you simply click over here and, presto, a narrative format appears. You can then choose to deselect extraneous data, if you like, that may not fit your format, such as tags or key date. This is particularly useful as you move to generate shareable documents from Factbox. To get the same facts back to table view, just toggle back, snap, and snap again. Once you have all the facts you want to see arranged exactly as you want to see them, generating a document in Factbox is a simple click of a button. Just go up here to generate and press click a Word document instantly generates on your computer. The list of use cases for this feature is nearly endless, and it is where Factbox really starts to save time and aggravation. For example, let's say you want talking points for a client organized by issue, and then sorted by created date so you have the most recent information on top. Once all that is arranged, click Generate, and then open the document. Once you open the document, you can edit it further, save to your computer, or share. Or, let's say you are doing some depot prep and use the tag function to assemble all facts related to a given deponent. Then, you want to use Factbox's source function to quickly access and print out relevant documents as you prepare the document binder. Or, you prepare for a meeting with a colleague by zeroing in on a particular contributor and printing out what they have been working on. There are countless ways to repurpose the same material and find exactly what you are looking for, eliminating duplication of effort and capturing your brilliance.